In this lecture, we're going to look at combining the ideas that we've learned previously about structures and about enumerations into data definitions that feature multiple different kinds of structures and that are processed with templates that look like the enumeration templates that we've seen already. In the exercises for this lecture, you're going to build a Big Bang animation where a marker follows the mouse. But what's new is that at the beginning of the animation, there is no marker. So the world is sometimes a point and sometimes no point. That's two different kinds of structures. Consider the problem of drawing one of two different kinds of shapes, either a circle or a rectangle. We're going to start with the data definition that captures these possibilities. Then we'll see how to define operations that draw these shapes, increase their size, and switch between them. Then we'll see how to produce a Big Bang animation that uses all of these operations together. Let's get started. First, let's write our data definition. We're going to write a data definition that captures the possibilities for a shape. I've begun by writing a shape is one of because there's going to be multiple possibilities. Now let's list each of the possibilities. Here we see that there are two possible ways to construct a shape. One is to use the make disk constructor, and one is to use the make box constructor. These two constructors are going to come from structure definitions that we'll write soon. This data definition should look a lot like the data definitions for structures that we've seen previously, but there's now more than one possibility, just like with enumerations. Let's add our structure definitions. Here we see two structure definitions for disk and box. They both specify a width, and boxes have a height, disks have a color. Now let's write a few examples of shapes. Here are two examples of disks, one large and one small. We see that we can have different sizes and different colors. Here's an example of a box. All three of these definitions, small disk, large disk, and box one, are shapes because each of them is constructed via the ways we've described in our data definition for constructing shapes, either using make disk or make box. Now that we know how to create shapes, let's think about how to process them. We'll start by writing a template for how you would process a shape. Given a shape S, we know that it's either a disk or a box. There's two possibilities. Our data definition starts with one of, and that means we're going to need a conditional. And there will be two clauses in the conditional because there's two possibilities in the shape data definition. But what should we put for the questions in our conditional? We need to know whether the shape S is a box or a disk. Fortunately, if we recall the structure functions that are created by our define struct operations. We have functions that tell us whether something is a disk or a box, the disk huh and box huh functions. We'll use those in our questions. Now our questions ask, if S is a disk or if S is a box, but we're not done with our template yet. The point of a template is to take an inventory of all the things that are available in our program. If we know that something is a disk, we know that it has two pieces of data associated with it. Similarly, if something is a box, it has two different pieces of data associated with it. If we recall the template for structures, that template had us extract those pieces of data, and we will fill that template in inside the answers for our two cond clauses. Here we have our full template. It shows that if S is a disk, we have two pieces of data available with which to construct our answer. And if S is a box, we similarly have two distinct kinds of pieces of data to construct our answer. This is a combination of our template for enumerations, where we had a conditional with multiple parts, and structure templates, where we had accessor functions accessing the distinct portions of our data. In the next video, we'll look at defining functions using this template to operate on shapes.